You know, I got a message for these politicians around here trying to do God's job with laws, like stopping violence. They try to stop violence by passing laws to take away items that people could use to hurt somebody. For instance, guns. I have never seen one gun law that stopped violent crime. Even all these laws about all these guns that shoot so many times. Oh, let's get rid of all the guns that shoot 30 times. Okay, we're going to pass a law that gets rid of them. You pass a law to get rid of the gun that shoots 30 times. You know the only person that's going to get rid of the guns that shoot 30 times? People who abide by the law. You know what the criminal get, the criminal is going to do? He's going to go underground like they've been doing all along with drugs, and he's going to find him a gun that shoots 30 times so he can go hurt the person who gave away their gun to shoot 30 times. You see, when a person wants to hurt somebody, there's no law you can pass to get rid of that. So you pass a gun law. Get rid of my gun. Man, crime is gone. No, hold up just a minute. I ain't going nowhere yet. So you pass another law to get rid of knives. Crime going down. No, hold up. I ain't going nowhere yet. So you pass another law to get rid of screwdrivers, to get rid of crime. Crime going down. No, I ain't going nowhere yet. As long as I can find a piece of wood around the house, I can do some damage. Oh, let's get rid of all the tree branches and all of the wood and the crime will go down. Oh, hold up just a minute. You must have forgot about that stainless steel pot that the old ladies used to use across their husband's head. So what's the whole point? The whole point is laws do not get rid of crime. If you want to get rid of crime, you start where Jesus started. And where did Jesus start? If you look at Matthew chapter 5, all the way through chapter 7, Jesus started with the heart. In Matthew chapter 5, for instance, let me give you one example. He was talking to the Jews about murder. In Matthew 5, verse 20 through 23. And Jesus says, you heard it was said a long time ago, thou shalt not murder. That's what you heard. People said, don't murder. But Jesus says, I say unto you that if you are angry with your brother without a cause, you're in danger of the judgment. You see what he was doing? He was telling those people they need to get away from the actions because the action is not the problem. Get away from the weapons because the weapon is not a problem. Get away from the stick. Get away from the knife. Get away from the gun because these things are not the problem. The problem is this right here. And if you want to minimize and reduce crime, then let's spend time focusing on transforming this right here. If all of our politicians and all of our so-called civil rights leaders would spend more time going into the schools, going into communities, and having sessions in which they are trying to build families up, teaching fathers how to be good fathers, teaching mothers how to be good mothers, helping struggling parents to know how to be a good parent even when you're struggling, and start putting some integrity and some decency and some stability within our communities and getting rid of the immorality and trying to place it with that which is good, then you will start seeing a transformation in the mind of young people. But until then, there's not one law a politician can pass that's going to get rid of crime. Jesus says, stop focusing on the outside and focus on the inside. Because everything that proceeds to the outside starts on the inside. Whatsoever man thinks in his heart, that is he. You know, we can rewrite that verse. Whatsoever a man thinks in his heart is most likely what he's going to act out. So let's start attacking the heart. And stop attacking Miss Lucy May Frying Pan. Because Miss Lucy May Frying Pan ain't never killed nobody. This gun ain't never killed nobody. You know who killed somebody? The person holding the gun. And the person holding the frying pan. Speaking of frying pan, I'm, I'm getting ready to go cook me some Connecticut sausage. I gotta go. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.